What's up, D-Fusion fans? This is Philip, and welcome back to another video. So, before I go into my very busy schedule uh, for this coming week, uh, actually, it's uh, gonna start uh, this Sunday, but anyways, while I still have uh, a bit of time on my hands, uh, I probably have posted this on uh, the community page and also on Facebook, so I'm gonna try and... Uh, make as many videos as I can, but uh, today I was looking for something and I did find it, so we have a toy review. So introducing the G-Frame God Gundam. So this is uh, the latest or one of the latest uh, mobile suits in the G-Frame full armor. Uh, series, so this is actually uh, the packaging right here. So, as always with the G frame sets, you're gonna need to buy two of them in order to actually get the full uh, mobile suit. So, there it is. So, the God Gundam, uh, you can see that this is the armor set. So, again, you can basically get an action figure more or less with the uh, armor set alone but that it's just this right so it doesn't move okay if you want the full movement or if, again like you want to do this kind of pose then you need the frame set as well because you also get uh, other accessories along with it i will explain later so for this lineup we have the god gundam uh, the Ariel, so uh, for the Witch from Mercury fans, if you uh, want to try the G-Frame for that, uh, I, I think it's a good model. You got the Jim Quell and the Yakushiki in this lineup. So yeah, uh, with that said, let's get on with the actual review of this mobile suit. So as you can already see, it's completed, it's fully formed. And the dummy uh, frame that you get from the armor set alone. So this has already been turned into the action base for the kit. Actually, I'm going to remove this uh, so I can... There you go. So uh, this is your God Gundam G-Frame. Uh, I, I'm not going to move this so much because, uh, well, I'm not uh, afraid of the stability of this uh, kit. Actually, one, one of the key points that I like about this one is that the joints are quite tight. Uh, they are kind of hard to assemble, especially with the inner frame. It did take me, uh, like my fingers kind of hurt doing that, but... Uh, with that said, tighter joints mean that they're going to last longer. So they're not going to droop down uh, anytime soon. And you get basically a, quite a, a lot of movement. So for its size, like, like I probably have said with the other G-frames that I've reviewed before, uh, this is basically a somewhat watered down high grade and well the size and the articulation are also kind of like that but what makes this uh g frame different from let's say like a uh, high grade god gundam uh, suit is that there are a lot of parts that need to be interchanged if you're switching from uh, the normal God Gundam into this, uh, well, uh, super mode. So first and foremost, uh, obviously you can see here the right hand. Now this is uh, going to be posted as is mirrored. So yeah, you can just watch it in front of a mirror and uh, you, you get the picture. But yeah, so the right hand that is painted in a metallic orange. So... If you want to perform the God Finger, uh, this is the hand that you use. So also, uh, for this upper arm part right here, so I'm actually going to shift the joint of the 
Godfinger a bit down. So yes, this is already molded like it is supposed to follow the contour of the uh, burning finger or the God finger. And the claw-like appendages on top of this armor do not move. So for additional uh, comparison, so this is the normal arm, armor of the God Gundam. And you also have to uh, put it in a different position because there are two holes on each arm. So if you want the normal mode, so you place the armor on the back hole. And if you want the super mode like this one, so you place the pig into the front hole. If that makes any sense and it doesn't sound kind of wrong so that's how it is now one part that i am actually going to remove is the core lander and i also removed the back armor as well but uh, I, can, I can put that back yeah it sticks a lot more to the armor than it should at the back so this is supposed to be the core lander right so the thing with this core lander is that you need to remove the cockpit first before you stick it into the back like so. Because, uh, yeah, you need this joint. And then uh, you can put it onto the back like this. And that's the backpack. But uh, you can open up the wings, of course, and if you're going to use the core lander in its core lander mode, you can also close the wings down, of course. Now, the chest. There are two different chest parts here. So this does not open and close on a joint, you know, like you can just flip it open. No, you need to remove the normal chest first and then replace it with the super mode version. So yeah, there's a lot of uh, things that you need to change. But at the very least, you get all the parts you need if you get both boxes. So uh, I'm not really complaining that much. So another accessory that we have, I'm just going to set it like this. So uh, you also have a beam katana which is in a completely black plastic so i've decided to keep it attached to the holding hand which is the right hand of course uh i'm not gonna attach it for this one but if you check the link down in the description box below uh, i will include a gallery so you can see photos of the god gundam in various poses and you will also see it wielding the beam katana so i'm staying clear of the background so you guys can actually see it because again it is black plastic so there you go all right now of course uh for articulation again you get a lot quite a bit of movement with the head uh the arms are on ball joints and the shoulders can actually swivel front and back for more movement uh the elbows kind of actually uh, bend less than 90 degrees because of, because of the armor but uh, i'm not really complaining the hands are again on a ball joint so you can move them around uh they're actually quite difficult to pop off compared to like uh polycap type uh, hands which really pop off easily and don't stick a lot inside of the uh, joints. So having like harder plastic really helps with that. So yeah, uh, no poly caps here. And of course, like you actually get a lot of motion from the abs, which is great considering that, you know, uh, when you think of mobile suits from G Gundam, they are designed to move along with the movements of their pilots like wearing special suits inside you know so again uh, you kind of kind of are able to pose this in various action like you know 
put this in various action poses. So the legs actually have a kind of cover here. Uh, you can kind of lift up uh, quite. I'm not going to really... Ah, there you go. No, I'm not going to do that in this video, but you can kind of uh, open up the uh, back cover of the legs. Uh, although there are no thrusters inside, but it's supposed to be like that. Uh, there's, however, like the side skirts uh, kind of open up only until this side. But uh, yeah, there's no 90 degree uh, movement to the sides, but you can still get quite a lot of movement. The Knees bend a bit more than 90 degrees thanks to the double joints uh, right there. And the feet are also connected by a ball joint with another joint connecting inside of the leg. So that's pretty much the articulation you'll get from this one. And of course with the G-frame units, you don't need to uh, you know, use tools to... Uh, cut the parts from the runners, especially if you're building the inner frame. Uh, yeah. And you don't also need to, you also don't need to worry about nubs because, again, most of the parts have been pre cut, especially with the exterior. The seam lines are actually on the side for the most part, so you don't have to worry about seams. Uh, again, this is a plastic model, really, so. Why would you, uh, you know, you, you don't really need to worry about the seam so much, especially with this one. But I guess if you're gonna, uh, you know, if you want, like, there are a bit of seams on the legs. But again, I don't mind it that much. And while uh, I do notice that there are some parts that probably can be painted on, but generally, uh it comes pretty much painted. I mean, especially with the face, the, you know, the head, it's fine as is, in my opinion. The chest part is painted as well. I mean, the hand for the god finger is also painted. So, I mean, painting, panel lining would be minimal. Uh, and, I mean, for those who really want to panel line this you can go ahead and do so but again i'm satisfied as is it looks clean and i want to keep it clean so that's uh, the god gundam so yeah my main issue with this uh, kit is that you do need to change parts but um again if you're gonna switch from the normal god gundam into the super mode like this one so again you need to remove parts and replace them with different parts the, again that's the main issue really but for me that's not a deal breaker if you're gonna get this one so at basically 1500 yen or i believe uh, 15 dollars us so it is a decent kit, and uh, I mean, you can also, for, for the same price, you can also get uh, the other models in this lineup. So again, like the Ariel, uh, Jim Quell, and uh, Hyaku Shiki. So uh, overall, I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 5. Again, when you build it, it's finished. And you, you are basically able to do a lot with this, so and that's fine in my book, really. Uh, so again, the part, the fact that I do have to change parts is the main issue, but that's not much of a problem. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you like it, please do give us a like, comment, share this video, subscribe. And don't forget that notification bell so you get the latest from GE Fusion. This has been Philip, and I'll see you in the next video. Look, the East is burning red! Bye.